Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here with you and to present uh, the Collaborative Partnership on Forest uh, Vangari Matai Forest Award. Uh, the Collaborative Partnership on Forest, to start introducing who is uh, providing this award, is a TIP2 UN or organization that gathers 14 international organizations with substantive programs on forests that includes uh, the United Nations Forum on Forest, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN, UNDP, UNEP, the World Bank, JEF, IUCN, ITO, and the three uh, most important forest research organizations, UFRO, which is holding this Congress, and uh, ICRAF and C4. And this uh, collaborative partnership on forests has several uh, tasks, but ba basically coordinating uh, the forest agenda globally so that the different agents uh, are not uh, incoordinated, but try to promote sustainable forest management, restoration of forests, and bringing forests into the international agenda. We have been for sure following the personality of Angari Matai in uh, during her uh, decades of work for Forest, and we are very glad that in uh, mid the previous decade, about nine years ago, she was um, acknowledged by the Nobel uh, Peace Award. She was the first African woman to be acknowledged for that, and very specially for the planting of trees and combating. Uh, uh, deforestation and very specially to promote tree planting by women uh, in nurseries around Nairobi and then spreading the idea much broader and one of our members UNEP came out of her legacy this program of planting uh, millions of trees in every country including the city of New York which is the, uh, the host of the UN uh, with major with previous major with all the tree planting initiative all this comes out of the legacy of Ankari Matai. In 2011 we celebrated the International Year of Forest and uh, Vangari Matai was in the opening in the General Assembly and had the personal privilege to uh, arrange a press conference together with her. Unfortunately, she had already a cancer and passed away uh, that year in September. And this brought to the Collaborative Partnership on Forest a debate how to keep her legacy um, awake. And we thought that the biannual award would be the best option for that. In 2012, exactly a year after her death, uh, we had uh, the first awardee, which was uh, the person that had uh, striven uh, community-based uh, forest management in Nepal, who had made a big change in that country when forests moved from state ownership to community management, did stop deforestation in that country despite many governance issues, and uh, started the change, uh, fundamental change. And the person that has been the leader was awarded with the Mankari Matai Award in 2012. And this time, uh, having the important occasion of the Youth for World Forest Congress here in Salt Lake City, the CPF, that's the acronym, uh, called uh, the Vangari Matai Award for the second time. We are very delighted that uh, this time the best, uh, the best uh, candidate was a female, because of course, as well, the gender perspective is very important in Vangari Matai legacy. And uh, we had also some geographical balance. So uh, we have we are last time in Asia and now uh, we will be here in the Americas. And uh, the CPF established both last time in 2012 and this time an independent international jury, and I'm uh, very glad to have here one of the members of the jury which will immediately then uh, intervene and explain also from the jury's perspective. And the jury came to the unanimous uh, conclusion that uh, the best uh, candidate uh, is uh, to get here with us which is uh, Marta Isabel Ruiz Corvo uh, from Mexico. She has been uh, working in the area of preserving forests and restoring forests with communities with a strong social agenda since 87, where she moved to the Sierra Gorda and established the Grupo Ecologico of that uh, zone in central Mexico and has had big successes in uh, working with the local communities in restoring forests, in establishing very uh, I would say on the underground uh, payment for environmental services to ensure that the local communities wouldn't have a trade-off between preserving the forest and their personal and uh, family livelihoods. She has been highly recognized and that uh, region is an example for other regions and uh, in that sense uh, the jury came to the conclusion that her work was uh, totally aligned with the Vangari Matai's legacy and we are very glad that she accompanies us here today this afternoon. And uh, I would then ask Ben from the name of the jury to, to intervene uh, briefly and uh, by chance you are from Kenya. 
from Nairobi, from the Forest Research Institute there, a member of UFRO. In that sense, no one is better, uh, no member of the jury is better uh, authorized to speak about Bangari Matai uh, than someone coming from there. So please, Ben, what is yours?